First up, what the heck's going on here? Dozens of sheep have been eerily walking around in a perfect circle for 12 days straight. Where? In China. Now, is it aliens? We don't know. Have they been brainwashed by the liberal media? We don't know. Nobody seems to know why they're walking in circles. So, Will Kane, <laughs> what is this? I, the next pandemic? I mean, yeah. this is, oh, yeah, absolutely. look at you. It's yes. China. First That's back. the answer. It's apocalypse. Wow. It's stay away. <laughs> it's get back waters. Get away from whatever's happening on that screen right I'm there. I'm going to cancel my trip to Beijing. It's look, here's order. the thing. The other sheep were standing on the sidelines watching them saying, hey, these guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they could either provide an explanation for the increasing number of sightings that we're seeing, or it could uh, reveal some more information about new encounters. The question really is how much of it is going to be decreased classified. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Mark says he was told his report is going to be included in that review for Congress. And based on other pilots he's been talking to, he is convinced dozens of commercial pilots are going to be coming forward describing the same kind of lights flying in that racetrack like pattern in the direction of the Big Dipper. The craziest part of his story, he says, is he saw a shooting star during all of this that was coming in that direction, too. And he's like, oh, my gosh, there's a shooting star happening as well. And then that shooting star joined in the pattern what? that those other lights were flying, okay. something he's never seen before. Whoa. Yeah. Dozens of pilots can't, can't be making yeah. this happen. Yeah. And again, we weren't studying these, but they were always out there. You know, they were always. out there when we took off, we'd see them. And then we go to land, they would still be out there. Like every day? Every day. Every day. Every day. So you guys go from not having any idea that these things are out there to an upgraded radar system to seeing them every day. Over the last several months, there's something unexplainable appearing in the night, from the skies over Missouri to above the Pacific Ocean. It's not a satellite, it's not a meteor. All baffling pilots mid-flight. I don't know what the uh, common denominator is, but it's always at the bottom of the Big Dipper. Mark Holsey is a former F-18 fighter pilot. This August, he was piloting a private jet off the coast of Los Angeles when he says he saw as many as seven mysterious objects appearing to fly thousands of feet above him. This is audio from that night alerting air traffic control. Are they going out of circle to maybe three aircraft? Roger, um, yeah, I don't know. You're not entering any military or space or anything. I'm not sure. The clip obtained by Ben Hansen, a researcher who has spoken to dozens of pilots of commercial flights that have recently had similar encounters. So it seems like it might be getting more frequent? It's either getting more frequent or it's getting noticed more. Okay, there it is. But while no one seems to know what they're seeing, Holsey is sure these fast orbiting objects aren't satellites or any known military aircraft. Um, there were two aircraft from my squadron, VFA-11, and we flew, or excuse me, they flew, took off as a flight of two. Uh, that means they're essentially flying in a formation like this. Um, and as they hit the area, one of these objects went right between the aircraft. Um, the lead uh, air crew saw the object. He turned around, flew back, landed, and uh, I was in the ready room when he come back. And you know, he had all his gear on, which typically is not a good thing because uh, you want to get that stuff off as fast as possible. So usually means you know there's a problem of some nature. Uh, and you know, he was just sitting there saying, "Hey, you know, I was hit one of those damn things." Um, and we all knew what he was referring to, even though we didn't necessarily have a, a name for it, just because we were seeing these so much. Um, and he described it, you know, he described it just as a black or dark gray cube. And that cube was inside of a, a clear or translucent sphere. Uh, and essentially the, the apex or the corners of that cube, best he could tell, uh, were touching uh, that inside of that sphere. And that description mirrors many of the descriptions that people have had of these whatever you want to call them. Whether They're calling them UAPs now for some strange reason. Uh, UFOs is a... I don't know. Does it have a dirty connotation to it? And is it tainted because of so many crazy people talk about UFOs? Is that what it is? It does come with a lot of assumptions baked yeah. in. It, it baked in. That's yeah. So that's something. But whatever it is, that is a design that people have reported seeing before. Now, is it aliens? We don't know. Have they been brainwashed by the liberal media? We don't know.